Making of champions, we're here to talk about the Nigerian athletes who really highlighted this past weekend in track and field from the NCAAs to the pros, great performances specifically in the field, but we're starting off with Toby Musan in those 60 meter hurdles. She was competing at the World Athletics Indoor Tour Meet in Tour in Poland. In those 60 hurdles, she managed to get second place in 7.89 seconds, just two hundredths of a second away from the win that Alina Tele from Belarus got, a 7.87 seconds, and she almost tied, had the same time with Christina Clemens, but Clemens got third place from the United States, 7.89 seconds as well. But Amusan, again, taking that second place, really strong performance. It's not her best this season. She already ran 7.84, a personal best, as well as 7.87. But what this shows is her extreme consistency. The slowest time that she has run in 2020 is 7.99 seconds. So every single race, including preliminaries and finals that she's run in the 60 meter hurdles has been under eight seconds. That consistency might be unmatched for the entire season. So she's definitely showing the improvement that she's going for to get above that fourth place she got in Doha, going for a spot on the podium in Tokyo this year. So keep a lookout for Tobi Misan. Moving over to the men's shot put, we have Chukwe Buke and Ekwechi. He was also competing in the Torin Indoor Meet in Poland. He managed to throw a season's best of 21.04 meters. Really strong performance that's not only a season's best, but only five centimeters away from the indoor personal best he set last year 21.09 meters so very strong performance there we saw him at the Dusseldorf indoor meeting throw 20.37 meters so this is a really strong improvement from there he's definitely going to be looking to improve in Tokyo 2020 this year upon the eighth place that he got in Doha last year so keep a lookout for Enequechi now in the women's long jump we had Ese Brume who had a really bright 2019 season which saw her jump not only over seven meters but also get the bronze medal at those Doha world championships here in the Torin indoor meeting she managed to jump an indoor personal best of 6.62 meters getting second place behind Romanchuk from Ukraine really strong performance though this improved upon her personal best of 6.41 meters which she set a couple years back she's definitely attacking this 2020 season this performance shows that 2019 was no fluke she's going to be going to improve that bronze medal she got in Doha looking to get silver and potentially gold in Tokyo this year so keep a lookout for Bumet now in the NCAAs we saw some great performance performances here as well. First, Ruth Osoro, who competes for Texas Tech. In the long jump, she was down in New Mexico and managed to jump a personal best of 6.35 meters. Not only is it an indoor personal best, but also farther than her outdoor personal best of 6.19 meters. So really, really strong here. This completes her double that she has with the triple jump, where she's ranked number four there. Now in the long jump, she's ranked number seven in the NCAA. So she's going for All-American status, come to the NCAA championships in March. So definitely look out for Usoro. Finishing things off, we have Isaac Udubesan competes for Alabama in the shot put. He was down in New Mexico as well. Managed to throw a best of 18.95 meters. Not a personal best, not even a season's best. He already threw 19.53 meters earlier this season. But what this is showing is his consistency. He not only threw 19.53 meters, a personal best, he also threw 19.29 meters and then this 18.95 meters here. This is showing the consistency to be able to throw close to or above 19 meters meters. This 18.95 is his third best throw in the history of his entire career, both indoors or out. So he's definitely going to be going for a top spot at NCAA championships in March and also improving in that outdoor season. So keep a lookout for Odubesan. All right, so those are just some of the highlights from the Nigerian athletes who competed this weekend. Of course, there's tons of other athletes who took this weekend off. We're going to see them in action next weekend and as the indoor season progresses and outdoor season is coming up on us very quickly. So keep tuning in for that. Make sure you guys like the video and we need you guys to subscribe to the channel as well. Making of Champs is going to be coming out with a lot of content as we progress through the 2020 Olympic season. So we need you guys to tune in so you can follow along with all the content. All right. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, keep tuning in and we'll be back again very soon. Thanks.